right a while back, I was thinking about um, little projects, little PC board projects that would be fun. Um, and I came up with this idea. Now everybody and their brother has made a, a, a headphone amplifier, but here's mine. <laughs> so it was just for fun. I'm sure you can find them everywhere, but it's a nice little, uh, nice little circuit and uh, fun to do. So let's take a look at it. It's going to be using an op amp and it's a stereo. So use a dual op amp and you can, um, you can, uh, amplify both sides. All right. I've turned on my, uh, my blue cursor here. People were complaining they couldn't follow me from some things. So I've now have this little blue cursor and we'll try that one out. So, uh, we have, uh, two op amps. Uh, the stereo comes in here. Uh, it's AC coupled in and it's AC coupled out. And it's just a simple, um, inverting amplifier. I have it set for a gain of one, but, uh, depending on your application, you might want to have more gain in the amplifier itself. Uh, maybe a gain of five, maybe a gain of 10, something like that. Um, so it's up to you. And then um, I have an output impedance uh, resistor that you may or may not want to use. You can put a zero ohm resistor here if you want. I just uh, put it in a hundred ohms just for fun. It seems to work okay. Um, so this is how this is how I have it. Now, um, I wanted this to be, uh, be able to be run off a battery or a single supply. And so you need a ground in this system. And so I have a virtual ground. I have it called ground one, okay? And uh, I generate ground one right here. I take the voltage coming in and I divide it by two. I rectify it, smooth it out. <laughs> Not rectify it, but smooth it out and call it ground one. So whatever that halfway voltage, I'm now calling ground one. So it's a nine volt battery. We have four and a half here. If you're putting in 12 volts, you'll have six volts here. And that's, that's your new referenced ground. All right, so it's really pretty straightforward. Um, the parts that I chose for the input and output uh, are just ones that I had a, I bought at a flea market once. I have a tube of them, so I have a bunch of these, like, these connectors. All right, so um, this is how I have it set up right now. Let's go ahead and turn off the copper fill and let's turn off the bottom layer and highlight silk screen. Yeah, there we go. So uh, again, these connectors I chose because I have them and um, it's hard to, I wanted to put some holes to be able to mount this thing if you wanted to, but I didn't want to put them in all corners. I wanted to make it small. So I put one right here in the middle. You probably just need one. And then I had extra room over here in the corner. So I put another one over there. So that's what they are doing. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward board. I did put in a ground plane as you saw. And uh, yeah, we can go to view 3D and take a look at it. See, here's, here's the two connectors on the front and here's our op amp. Now, what op amp should you use? Well, um, a lot of people like the 5532. Um, some people like the 072. Uh, there's also, uh, if you need more current, there's a high current version uh, in the 5532 family. I don't remember the 5568, something like that. 86. I don't remember. I did a video on it, but it's a it's like a 70 milliamp part. I think these are good for maybe 35 milliamps or something though. They're pretty they're pretty stout and they're very simple. That they they don't have a lot of distortion, so they're they're nice for audio ampli amplification. These uh, 5532s are almost in every commercial mixer out there. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can what we can uh, do here and get it built up. Uh, all right, one more thing before we leave here. Um, I actually did two copper pours. I have a, um, a copper pour on the front, and I also have a copper pour on the rear. Um, so uh, both sides ha are a ground uh, ground copper pour. So, All right, I'll send this off to PCBWay, and in about a week I'll have PC boards in my hand.